Hey, how's it going everybody? Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. Welcome to the update for Thursday, May 13th, 2021. Free play coming up in the NBA. We'll get to that. First quick note, uh, check it out below the video in the description box. I've loaded a link that'll get you to the Doc Sports YouTube channel uh, where I'll be doing videos just about every day of the week over there along with all the other guys from DocSports.com. And a special note for Thursday evening, uh, Doug Upstone and I are going to talk about a couple of Major League Baseball weekend series from a betting perspective on the series. Series. Also, maybe even a couple of possible individual games that we're going to be looking at from a betting perspective for the weekend. Again, those will be up by Thursday evening at the very latest on the Doc Sports uh, YouTube channel. And again, you can click on that link below the description, excuse me, below the video in the description box and check out those videos. And again, I'll be posting videos at Doc Sports YouTube channel almost every day of the week. We'll still use this channel also. We'll be posting some videos here. Uh, so don't forget to check out these videos also uh, for from day to day. As far as everything that's going on for me, listen, first of all, uh, yesterday had a rare losing day. We went in two yesterday on a 39 and 24 run. And uh, then yesterday, I won in the NBA. Nice. Uh, that was the top play of the day for me, the NBA, which was the Portland Trailblazers over the Utah Jazz. But I lost in baseball. I lost in hockey. And uh, we look to bounce right back, though, as we have been doing when we do have a losing day. Look to bounce right back on Thursday's card. I'm going to kick things off with Major League Baseball Thursday, getaway day daytime dominator on Thursday's slate. It's on my homepage at DocSports.com. We are up about $3,800 on our current baseball regular season run. I've also got um, some PGA going. Opening round action in the PGA. It's a day game or excuse me, a day matchup as always and this particular matchup if we win, we'll go to 7, 2, and 1 over our last four PGA tourneys. Uh, and that goes a little after 1 o'clock Eastern time as far as the matchup is concerned for me, the first round play on Thursday uh, so you can check that out also if you wish. As far as the NBA five-star play, it is the star of the show for me on Thursday, Thursday night game, obviously. 71% run the last 18 days in the NBA. That's where we sit after last night's win uh, with the Portland Trailblazers over the Utah Jazz. Also, a quick note before we get to the free play for today, uh, we do have that free $60 account. If you're not yet a member at DocSports.com, you click on that link that's below the Doc Sports link. It's down there in that... Uh, description box and you click on that free $60 account is yours if you're not yet a member and you can use those free 60 bucks on any of my daily packages or anybody else for that matter over at DocSports.com. Let's get to our free play. We're looking at the matchup between the Suns and the Blazers on Thursday. I mentioned we had the Blazers last night over the Utah Jazz. Big win for Portland. Uh, in this particular game, you've got a second in back-to-back -back nights. That's obviously never an easy situation and neither one of these teams are known for playing great defense of late talking about Portland and Phoenix and I don't expect a whole lot of defense to be played in this one if you look at what Phoenix has done of late you're going back a good 078 games where they played to the over each and every time they shoot lights out obviously I mean check it out I'm looking at their slate right now they've got uh, two of the last three they've hit over 51 percent of their shots and go back to about five of the last seven where they've nailed over half their shots I expect that to continue but they've struggled on the defense of in. As I've mentioned, I mean, they give up 63% shooting just a few games ago to the Atlanta Hawks, and there's been several times over the past 10 games where this team has given up basically 50% or better to the opposition. I don't expect that to change a lot here. And as far as Portland is concerned, uh, they've been shooting lights out basketball also for the last six or seven games now. They only had one bad shooting night, basically. That was against the Lakers on May 7th. Other than that, uh, they've been nailing shots. But during this kind of a slide, I guess you can call it, for Phoenix, where they've lost three of four. I mean, they've given up a buck 22, 123, 135 to Atlanta, that game where they couldn't defend. And the only time when they actually actually came to play, as far as defense was concerned, was a win that we had with them against the New York Knicks back on May 7th. Other than that, they've been giving up a, a lot of points and a high percentage of shots going in for the opposition. Last couple of times, these two teams have hooked up. In fact, in the uh, 2021, uh, they scored two 248 points on March 11th, 232 points on March 22nd. I like this to go over also. I think it's reasonable, this total. We're going to play the over between Portland and Phoenix on Thursday night, our free play. All right, don't forget, start the show for me on my homepage on Thursday is also NBA. It's a side, and it goes on Thursday night. We're looking to extend that 71% run over the past 18 days in pro baskets. If you like the videos, click on the thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com. Let's put them in the wind column.